Hello everyone. Today I am going to draw a simple drawing on two of the popular drawing apps for iPad and will show you how it turns out. As you can see from the title, it's going to be Procreate versus Ibis Pentex. So I have this sketch that I did on Ibis Pentex with the help of a reference. Let's do the line art process starting with Ibis Pentex. I have used pencil graphite brush for this. The process was more or less smooth. I made some little modifications in the dynamic section to make this process better. But you have to remember that those modifications will only work when you are using a stylus. For me it's Apple Pencil. There are a lot of brushes that you can use from the default brush section but I specifically went for this because of the nature of this art. And honestly speaking this is one of the best brushes that you can use for line art purpose. So now that we have seen parts of the process in Ibis Pentex, let me show you how it works on Procreate. Before making the line art here, I copy pasted the other half from Ibis Pentex so that these two halves are going to be identical. So I have used this line art brush that is slightly customized. I made the brush tapered aka reduce the thickness of the brush towards the ends. It helps to get a nice line art. The line art making process was pretty smooth. I personally really enjoy sketching or doing line art on Procreate. It has a very smooth feeling when you draw and it gives you more control over the pen pressure and the flow. Now let's see how the line arts look side by side. I can barely see any differences other than the process. The result itself isn't much different here. Next I'm going to start painting on Ibis. I wanted to keep it simple so I have used my most used brush aka Penfed. The best thing about this brush is it already gives you kind of a blended look before you even start blending properly. So now that we have seen how it looks like on Ibis, let's see what happens in Procreate. For Procreate, I tried to find similar brush like Penfed. And you should be able to find that kind of brush in the default airbrush section. I used the hard brush for the majority of the coloring and also sometimes medium hard or soft brush as well. Base coloring was more or less similar experience but in this case it doesn't give you that instantly blended look like Ibis so you have to use proper blending techniques. It's not bad but it takes a bit more time.
So now it's time to do the rendering and I will start from Ibis Pentex. Again, I'm just going to be using the blending brush that I made from PenFed. A little parameter changes which you guys already know. I have told you again and again how to make a blending brush. And sometimes I also use the airbrush normal for ultra smooth stuff, but it's not that necessary. The process here was very fast and very convenient in my opinion. Maybe I have used it a lot, that's why. But I think even if I see it from an unbiased perspective, it still is pretty fast. Now it's time to check out the rendering process on Procreate. I personally found it a bit more difficult to blend here compared to Ibis. I used some of the blend brush in the default brush section and did not change any parameters. Those brushes were definitely trickier to control but if you use the smudge brush here that is much better in comparison to the smudge brush we can see in Ibis Paintex. For blending, I could not really find the proper equivalent of pen fed, so I had to use several airbrushes to achieve the same result that I could get in only two brushes on Ibis. So naturally, it took longer time. Now I want to talk about the hair shading as well. I used lasso fill tool for hair highlights on Ibis Pentex and it's really helpful. On the other hand, you can also use lasso tool here with color fill option on Procreate but it's definitely inconvenient because you have to enclose the starting point every time before you move on to the next part which takes away a lot of time and the process doesn't feel fluid and also doesn't give you the desired smooth look. You can clearly see how different both the sides look. In case of Ivy Spentex you can see the motion, how smooth it is. In case of Procreate it looks more jaggered and it doesn't really look like it's moving in a certain direction. So now it's time to check out the final results. This half is for Ibis and this half is for Procreate. Now I'm going to put both the arts side by side to see what happens. There are some differences in case of coloring here and there which is understandable because I did the coloring on different apps. So I will get back to you real soon 
after I eliminate all the minor differences. Now if I did not tell you what app or apps I have used, you would probably think that it was done using the same app. So what is better, Procreate or Ibispentex? Now let's discuss. I will do it by comparing some aspects that I find important. The first point is line art making process, which I mentioned before already. Making line art on Procreate feels really smooth and the grip is better. It's all because of their streamline feature that helps you control the lines better. So this point goes to Procreate, no doubt. The next thing is base coloring. Both the apps have color dropping options but in case of IBIS, we have different settings like canvas, specific layer or current layer. Not only those three options but there is more control over the strength and expansion as well. In Procreate, the default color dropping will work for the current layer. If you move your finger left to right while doing the color dropping, you can increase or decrease the threshold. And if you want to drop color in a specific layer, you can turn on reference for that layer. But there is no canvas option which is a pretty cool and important option in my eyes. So it would be great if they had a canvas option here as well. So the second point kind of goes to no one but if I am being completely fair I can give this point to Ibis Pentex but it's almost equal. Now the point is for rendering. If we are talking about the results then they are more or less similar. But if we are talking about the process, then I found Ibis Pent X blending easier because I didn't have to shuffle through different brushes. I know this is kind of a controversial topic because I am aware that many people find Procreate blending is better and easier. And yes, that is actually true in case of some highly customized brushes. But we are talking about the default ones with minimal modifications to keep things fair. So personal experience wise, I would give this point to Ibis Pentex as well. And for the last point that we have discussed a little while ago, about the hair highlights so I'm not going to talk about it again so if we see it from a technical point of view then IBIS is again getting more points so if I talk about my personal experience for this specific art IBIS Paint X definitely wins here then again I made a video about oil painting comparison and the winner that time was Procreate. So depending on what kind of result you are trying to achieve, the verdict might change. For this particular art, you can see the end results have barely any differences. So what I am trying to say here is, free apps like IB Spentex or Medibang or Sketchbook could be on the same level as Procreate, Clip Studio Paint or Photoshop, you know the paid apps. Procreate is still the cheapest one though, but yeah, you know. So don't think that you are missing out a lot if you are using free apps. Among all the options I mentioned, Photoshop is definitely technologically most advanced, but more than those features, sometimes all you need is some basic brush to get your desired results and any free app can provide those brushes so the end game depends on your skill set and proper knowledge to paint rather than the apps and that's all I want to say
I hope you enjoyed this comparison video and let me know what drawing apps you use for painting. I will be making more comparison videos like this in future as well. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care.